the last video, we learned how to set the display preferences for the 3D viewports. In this video, we're going to talk a bit more in detail about how to manipulate an element, in this case a background model, in the scene and how the properties of the background model works. Okay, so first thing we are going to uh, recap a bit how to create this uh, background model in the scene more than create to place it hmm? so we will see how to delete an element from the scene now to select the background model we saw in the previous video that we have to use the project panel this is just for the background models okay since they are objects not meant to be selected in the scene when we are working on the simulations okay so we go up to the right uh, project panel okay we select the background model hmm, and we hit the delete key on the keyboard hmm, and the object disappears from the scene then we left click on it in the library backgrounds click and drag and release in the scene hmm? quite simple quite simple now let's see what we can do hmm, by selecting the background model in the project panel left click on the background model name and as you can see appears one manipulator in the scene and a couple of properties here in the properties panel on the right okay but before going uh, talking about them we're going to talk a bit about the project panel in the project panel we know that will appear the list of the elements created in the scene in this case just the background model okay let's talk about some options we have here First of all, we can change this element name, okay? So double click, left double click, and we change the name. I will change it to sandbox back, okay? Changing the name is quite important since when we start to have many elements in the scene, by changing the name, we can uh, avoid confusion, okay? Very important. Then we have these three dots each one belonging to a column mm? and on at the top of each column there are there is sorry an icon the first one on the left is a on off icon well by left clicking on this dot we disable that object so what means being disabled well it means two things first that we don't see it so it, it's hidden and it doesn't affect any simulation okay if we left click again we enable it the second dot on the right hmm, has an eye icon if we left click on this one we just hide the object the element okay but it still affects the simulations okay left click again to making it visible the third column mm, it's a column we will talk about in later videos mm, the only thing you need to know is about the animations baking okay it's a process we need to do once we want to pass all the um, move all the work done in anima to a, an external program okay but we will talk about this in later videos so the last two things we can do here in the project panel are these right mouse button click on the on the element name and this context menu appears well the first options is used to clone to make a copy of this element and the other to delete okay so we have two ways of deleting objects one this one and the other one is the to hit the delete key on the keyboard okay perfect now just select this again and let's let's talk about the manipulator okay now the manipulator is made of two uh, two parts one is the translation manipulator and are uh, and it's made by these three axes each one has a specific color the blue one is the z axis the red one is the x axis and the green one is the y axis okay and then we have this arc which is the rotation manipulator okay so we use this hmm, axis to move to translate the object and this to rotate the object 
This is a manipulator that let us change, manipulate position and rotation of this element. It's not like using, for example, Alt, right mouse button and doing a pan. This is, we are moving now the camera, okay? We are not moving the object. Hmm? On the other side, if we left click on, on an axis and drag, we can move that object, this object in this case, along that axis, okay? Control Z to undo the action, okay? One thing I want to tell you is the new um, keyboard shortcut, which is the escape key. And this key is very useful. Why? Because let us deselect without having to click anywhere, okay? So I will left click again in the project panel to select the sandbox back, the new name I, I've chosen for this background model, okay? And then I could again press the escape key to deselect, okay? So uh, let's go back to the translate translation manipulator. We have also these planes, okay? These planes let us uh, move mm, along a pair of axes, okay? So in this case, left click and drag. I'm moving, translating the uh, translating the um, the object mm, along the x and y axis, okay? Same thing can be done in a vertical plane, which is this one. Mm. And then we have the rotation manipulator. This is very, very simple. Mm. Left click and drag, and we are going to just rotate, mm. change the rotation. Now, if I release the mouse button, mm, as you can see, we got the new position and rotation. Now, using this manipulator is very, very handy and very useful, but what if we want to um, use uh, have a bit more precision, that we can do the same thing using two properties we have in the properties panel. Here we have the transform section and we have the first line, we have three text fields and these are the coordinates of the three axes, X, Y and Z. So for example, I want to go back to the original positions that is zero, 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 so zero, zero and zero and then hit enter okay and the second option is the rotation and it's these are degrees okay the rotation when we create any object in uh, in anima is always zero so i would set zero even here and that's it okay we go back to the original position and translation then the last two options we will be covering in this video are the those we found in the geometry section, okay? The first one is the flip up axis. If we click on the drop down menu, you see we have several different options related to positive or negative axis. Mm? X, Y, Z, why is that? Well, when we create an object, like for example, uh, a background model, we create it in an external program, okay? Now, you see here we have a specific orientation of the axis in the uh, manipulator. Mm? We have the z-axis being the vertical axis. Now, this is a convention, okay? And this convention, for example, is uh, shared by other softwares such as 3ds Max and Unreal Engine. But there are other softwares that don't share this convention. Instead, they, have, they use another one. For example, Maya or ZBrush, instead of having the Z axis as the vertical, they use the Y axis. So, since the background model has been created in an external program with a different, in this case, a convention, hmm, what has been set here is the vertical axis used in that program okay so for example it could have been maya mm -hmm. so i created this background model in maya maya where the y-axis is the vertical one so when i import this mm -hmm, i will already set these options this option per, uh, sorry now you consider then that these two options mm -hmm, we will see this when we will see how to import a background model okay these two options are present 
during the um, import options, uh, during the process. But we can change these options later, for example now, mm, and what happens? Let's say that we, we made a mistake when we were importing and we don't want to re-export, re-import and so on. Okay, so we, we want to correct this mistake here internally in Anima. So we change this, let's say that this object has been made in 3ds Max where the z-axis is the vertical axis. So we set in this case the positive z. What, and this is what happens. Okay, so clearly this is not what I'm going to do now. This is just to show you what happens. Okay, and this is important because the background model uh, specifically is very, very um, relevant when creating simulation because the simulation will uh, lay on the background model. So I won't be able to work with this model in this case. So if after we have imported, we see something like this and it doesn't work, we probably need to change this option. Okay. Of course, these elements for these four background models we get with Anima itself, uh, they are already uh, well imported, so we don't have we don't have to change anything about them. Okay, this is just to show you how it works. So I will get back to Y positive Y, mm? and the second options is related to units. We already talked about this when we created this project. We set this project to be in meters. Okay, and these objects when have been imported also comes with an option about units. So same thing as I told you in the project. We need to set these mm, according to the units we used in the program where we created this model. Okay? In this case, meters. What happens if I change, let's say, to centimeters? Okay? Well, as you can see, as soon as I change something of this object, it changes also the preview thumbnail here in the library backgrounds okay just to be just to point out well as you can see the element is smaller has been scaled i told you that units are related to scale okay and this has been this has been scaled down hmm, uh, according to what to the relation between meters and centimeters okay so i will go back to meters hmm, just to show you that how this affects okay so just deselect with the escape uh, uh, key or just clicking by left clicking outside uh, any element okay and for this video we are um, finished in the next video we will start to work with our first simulation element the path see you soon